Hi, my name is Jiwan Kim. I'm an associate professor in mechanical engineering of MIT, as well as I, I'm, I'm under research lab of electronics. Before joining MIT, I was at IBM TJ Watson Research Center. I've been working there as a research team member for eight years. And while I'm there, I have been working on uh, semiconductor device, devices and materials. And I have worked a lot about the semiconductor uh, device physics as well as material science there. After working there for eight years, I have decided to move to the academia. I, I thought I, I have learned a lot about the uh, semiconductor physics and, and materials. So I'd like to expand my research idea furthermore in academia. So I have decided to move to academia. So I applied for MIT year 2014 and I got an offer from MIT at, um, in year 2015. So I have studied MIT as an associate assistant professor in the fall of uh, 2015. Our group has been working on growing high quality single crystalline semiconductor material on graphene. So first, we have tried a lot to grow high quality uh, semiconductor materials directly on graphene. Our first trial has, been, has not been so successful because we later realized that graphene cannot be the nice seed layer to grow high quality single crystalline semiconductor layer. Later, what, have, what we have found is that if we put down the monolayer graphene on top of a semiconductor, then, then graphene thickness is so thin that the underlying substrate field can be penetrated through the monolayer graphene. So then if you flow the atoms on top of graphene on the substrate, then substrate crystal information can be successfully transmitted through graphene, then we can grow same semiconductor material on graphene on on underlying substrate. In other words, graphene plus the semiconductor wafer combination is key for us to succeed to grow high quality single crystal materials on graphene. Why bother you to grow something on graphene is because graphene provides slippery surface. If you are able to grow single crystal materials on graphene, you can easily peel them off. So that is very uh, uh, important technical you know, implication there. What it means for everything is, first of all, uh, except for silicon, the rest of semiconductor is much more expensive than silicon. So, so far, silicon material has been a mainstream because, mostly because the price of silicon is lowest. Silicon is the cheapest semiconductor material ever. So uh, all the industry has been using silicon as an as a electronic material. However, the rest of non-silicon material can easily beat the silicon for their own electronic or photonic performance. The problem so far is the price of this non-silicon electronic material is super, super expensive. So our technique, what our technique can offer is to provide cheaper non-silicon semiconductor material by growing non-silicon materials on graphene on non-silicon substrate, which is expensive. And then by using single graphene substrate combination, we replicate this expensive semiconductor layer as a thin film form on graphene, we peel off that expensive semiconductor copy. Then we can reuse graphene substrate combination to, to keep replicating the expensive semiconductor on and on.